Well, hello, and here is another Voxman podcast. I am James Mason. And I'm Sarah Colenzo. We're going to be chatting today about the changes in the market, because there's definitely been a change in the last week, and it's exciting and good news. You're back. I am. How? Uh, no one's missed me except you. I missed you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was interesting because it was that quiet er uh, time over Easter, but we weren't quiet, actually. There was quite a lot going on. Yeah, it but, didn't how was um, Mickey of the Mouse? He was very friendly again. Didn't say much, but uh, he was very friendly and gracious when mountain, so it's all good. I just don't know how you do the queuing. We don't. You don't know, it's as simple as that. You... Uh, just to catch you up, I went to Disney World. Um, it was one of my happiest places on earth as they put on all the posters, but it is. It is. I am a nicer person when I'm at Disney. Uh, no, we don't queue, uh, but that is a military operation in its own right because you have to be up before seven to buy your Genie Plus for the day. Price has gone up, not happy. Um, and then you can book all your rides. It's it's a military operation, I'm not joking. Oh, so you, were, you turn up at a specified time? Book your slots. But then there are three ways to do it. You can book an individual lightning lane that you have to pay extra for. You can book a lightning lane. You're only allowed to book one of those every two hours. Don't even ask. And then there's also two virtual queues. So someone said, so my priority would be, do I book an individual lightning lane, a lightning lane, or a virtual queue at 7 a.m.? I said, you don't. You delegate and you have two other people helping you. All on your apps, all good to go. Don't look scared. Yeah, this is why I do not theme park I sun lounge. That. I did that too because we were up so early. We were exhausted by two o'clock. Went home, had a sunbathe. Florida hot, very hot, big hair, very humid. My hair just temp. Oh, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not just generally. <laughs> There's a judgment on the people. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so it was hot. Yeah, okay. and uh, actually very nice. It's been sort of more thunderstormy in the past. When we've been. And it was really nice. Oh well. Yes. Yeah. Good to have you back. Thanks very much. Um, and what a time to come back. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, so just talked in that opening about. There being a definite trend, there is a definite feel of let's get on with it. Active action. Yeah. yeah, I think everyone seems to be kind of going, shall we have a go? Yes, let's have a go. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't it doesn't feel particularly confident, but everyone wants to get on with it and uh, see how it uh, how it evolves. Yeah, I think it's interesting. We we valued so many houses and this has tended to be a thing. So I've chatted with agency mates and stuff like that. And we've all had the same kind of first quarter. Mm -hmm. Loads and loads and loads of valuations, lots and lots of viewings. We, you know, we talked about how uh, frustrating January was quality of the with lots of views yeah. and the quality of views. And then it's gradually improved as we've gone along that quiet a little period of when everybody went away. I mean, my Instagram was basically Disney skiing in Dubai. Dubai and a little bit of the Caribbean, but that was it. Mm -hmm. um, but now we've seen, and I think for those of you who are out there looking for property at the moment, you will have seen a little uptick yeah. in properties coming onto the market this week. It's not bonkers. It's not like there's 20 new houses every single day in the area that we cover, but there's definitely an uptick. There's more coming on in prime spots. There's more coming on near the stations. There's yeah. more coming on that are traditional family homes that we've been lacking for a while. So I think that whole, you know, we've been saying to people, it's coming, it's coming, yeah. it's coming. And I think we did have a period of everything, pretty much everything being a reduction whenever we got a new email was a, a lot of the yeah. older stock, the stale stuff was being reduced. Yeah. And now we are seeing proper new stuff yeah. coming onto the market. And also new stuff how that, that performs. And also new stuff that hasn't been on the market before. Exactly. So yes. fresh, fresh. Yes, yeah. Uh, fresh, fresh stock, um, mm -hmm. which is really, really good. And I know that it's interesting because someone asked me this morning, actually, who's selling their house, oh, is, well, is this a good thing? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. yes. Because more more builds and breeds more, well, doesn't it? You know, you, you have more houses. Well, it's, it's funny. Cause I had this conversation with somebody I was showing around a house the other day who who was just about to put theirs on the market. I said, oh, yeah, well, we've, we've put off because there wasn't anything for sale. I said, yeah, but you're part of the problem. If you build it, they can't. Can. You haven't put yours on. Mm -hmm. So no one's, and, you know, it's self perpetuating yep. isn't it? So we often talk about the fact that if everyone was thinking of selling, just put one hand up in the air. Yes. Um, it would be a lot more of a visible... And we sort of have to reassure a lot of people when we go to these valuations and say, well, we don't know if the time's right or whatever. We need to understand, you know, uh, what the numbers would look like. And uh, But we, you know, and then they need to work out if that's going to work for them. But we have to reassure them 
it's okay to go on the market without having found somewhere yeah. because your ducks get in a row very quickly once you take that first step and then you start having different conversations with agents because they realise that you are in it, you you are serious yeah. about it, uh, rather than, oh, no, we're not on the market. All right, well, I'm not going to show you my best stuff that's going to go next. I, week, so. I have said time and time again, there was an old film um, that Bill Murray did called What About Bob? Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a section of it said Baby Steps. Mm. And it is, do you want to sell your house? Yes. Yeah, and take that first step. Well, then just that's your first thing. Get it yeah. valued, and get an idea on how much it's worth, and then put it on the market. Mm -hmm. No one's going to force you out of your house. Yeah. No one's going to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right. It's really interesting to see just how things work out, don't they? Yes. You know, big believer in the universe. Um, but once you're under offer, things just tend they to really happen, do. They? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I would say as well that when we go on these valuations, it's usually people making their plans or mm. well, when they go on the market actually it's either that they, they've made their plans and they've fallen in love with something and they say sell 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 or they're saying yeah you know we want to we're looking for a change we need to understand how how the money works yeah. out and, and what we want to do um, and so we get those two different conversations but the first step up once you've decided to move unless you found the, the house of your dreams and you have to get sold as quickly as possible in order to secure it mm. is to put it on the market and trust that things will fall into place yeah. and no one's going to make you sell your house if you don't want to at the end of the day no. um you know time will be wasted but at the, at the you know if you are serious about it everything will fall into place yeah and we've just had that happen on a couple of things where um suddenly everything has just worked yes. out and that's which is <laughs> which is all, all yeah. great but i think the key takeaway is now if you are thinking of doing a move this year get on, get on the market get yeah. on with it yeah, now definitely get, get on the market your people, make your plans get get on with get it get on with it yeah. do your finances speak to your broker yeah. get your house valued wherever you are whether you're local whether you're in london whatever you're doing get on the market now mm -hmm. get your house in order Get on the market yeah. and do it because I think we're going to have what are we now? Almost May. It is when almost, we're on. almost May. Yes. How? Oh. I don't know. Uh, and it's still not warm. It's raining every day. It's so sick, isn't it? And I know it's cold. It's just the. I don't mind cold. Iron. Don't don't like that. Do you know? I'll <laughs> I'll give you that. Um, but I would, I, I feel a little bit cheated already. I'd, I'd like a nice spring day that no. lasts, uh, you know, longer than half an hour. I like a sweatshirt, so I'm okay. But um, I think that uh, we are essentially with the last week in April now. Mm -hmm. My view is that I think May and June are going to be absolutely fantastic months if you're looking to buy and sell houses. I mm -hmm. think that agents are all a bit more uh, upbeat about things. There are, there are definitely more houses coming onto the market that will bring more buyers into the market. Those buyers will have houses to sell as well. This is going to be, I think, two months, definitely. When do kids break up these days now from school? Is it into well, July or...? Well, we don't see July at school, actually, so... Mm, that's yeah. It's end of June, is it? Yeah. Yeah, fine. So you've got May, you've got June, and then we'll... It'll be interesting to see what this summer's like, because summers are funny, aren't they, around here? Well, everyone left last year, didn't they? So everyone goes away, and then the ones who are left behind... <laughs> The ones that are left behind are oh, really good quality buyers. They are. Absolutely. Oh, really? oh, yeah. no. Well, we had that conversation as well. But, oh, no, it's terrible. You can't put your house on the market in August. Oh, it's you know, it's houses. a brilliant month because it might be slow and you'll get less inquiries, but those inquiries are gold, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. yeah. They mean business. But I've said that for years. I mean, remember, I've been an agent since I was 18 or whatever. And, you know, when I first started working in Isha, I always thought, I think I've, if I looked at my numbers, August was always like the second or third best net business right so activity okay. wise no, no. yeah oh, i could only sound like a corporate estate you did there mm, but um, it used to be um, it's all right yeah. uh, gross for the month <laughs> what <laughs> <Wednesday, laughs> <back laughs> to the month eight and three what an uptick <laughs> we had a we used to have a conference call we used to have a conference call and um the md would go round each office and he'd want your gross and net right mm. gross net instructions exchanges other bits and bobs that were about anyway but we went to this one chat and he was new, a new manager he'd been hailed as to take the next big thing or whatever and bless him he didn't know the difference between gross and net oh and it, yeah and the md for whatever reason didn't want to tell us <laughs> <laughs> on the conference call <laughs> so it just got to that point where everyone was sat there and really weird oh, like that for him and the fair play for him listen fair play to me just went no oh, i'm so sorry <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, didn't last too long in that office. Yeah. Breaking them, I think it was, but there you go. Um, I don't even know if there's one still there for that company. But um, but yeah, I think that you're looking at now 
May and June are going to be bonza months. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Lots of activity going on. Price your home sensibly, please. Yeah. A plea to all the estate agents out there. Don't kill the goose. Yeah, it's laying some bloody good eggs at the moment. And let's just keep that going before we get later into the year and we've got all of the election stuff going. Yeah, absolutely. Even if it's not being called, it's going to be talked about so much, it's going to affect the market I, potentially as well. I, I think so. I think we're in a, a little concentrated period now where it's going to be... Um, it's going to be lots and lots going on. If you see a house that you like, go for it. Yes. If you're going to be selling, go for it. Mm -hmm. If you've got something that is surplus to requirements, you know, if you've got a house that you have been renting out per se, and you know, don't worry about, 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 don't worry about landlord yeah. in this current market, get rid of it now. Now is the time to do everything. So, I, personally, I'm very excited about the next couple of months. Yeah. yeah. If and if I'm already tired thinking about it. Yes. Do you know what? We've had this before. We, we can yeah. do this. We can do this. It won't be forever. Do you remember straight after COVID? And we were just running that? ourselves rag ragged and he went, I don't know if I could do it. We can. It won't be forever. We've just got to keep going. And it's been forever. <laughs> Four years on. We're very, Four very tired. Four years on. It won't lie. It won't last forever. It won't be forever. Oh, so thanks. You promise. <laughs> we won't. Yeah. We, we won't be this. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot more salt than pepper in this video. <laughs> in that, anyway. But, um, but that's good. Interesting that we have seen um, over the last... I would say a couple of weeks as well. We've seen a load of price reductions as well. So yes. I, I think it's interesting that even people who had been on the market in that first quarter and got it quite horribly wrong. And we talked about the yeah. the, the lists, didn't we? Um, I spoke to a chap over the weekend, though. Um, you know, we talked about the bad shit ones. Yes. Yeah. Spoke to one. Oh, really? And I said, how's it going? Yeah. And he said, yeah, I'm not very happy with my agent. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So then... Have you had much? Right. No. Any interest at all? No. So what are you gonna what are you gonna do? I found another agent. Oh. Oh. You're gonna keep it at the same price? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> ah, and did you say best of luck and, and run away from him very quickly? I backed out of the room. Yeah, very good. No, yeah. yeah. The, but anyway, yeah. What we have seen they don't say that fine and working out things crazy and who's not if they say things like that. We just you know, but then cars uh, on the table. Absolutely. Yeah. I think um the, what's been interesting, though, I think there have been some sellers who have kind of got their heads around things as well. I just it maybe I'm just an old romantic Sarah, but I kind of get the feeling that everything's coming together. Oh crikey! And I, I really hope this doesn't get quoted back to you when everything has gone horribly, horribly wrong. But I do like your optimism. Well, they have like a lettuce next to me <laughs> and see it last longer, the good market or the lettuce. But I think that there is a definite feel out there from sellers that they want to be realistic with things the majority of them the majority of them yes um it is it is um still yet to be seen whether estate agents are going to be sensible on their pricing and saying yeah we've got a window to get these things sold mm -hmm. or actually are they just going to say well we've got an eight week sold agency yeah um to try mm -hmm. and get things sold so whether they sell in week one or week seven doesn't necessarily matter i would say we've had some refreshingly uh dynamic conversations with uh, our clients mm. recently and that's no casting no aspersions on the previous ones but it just seems to be we say this is how we think we should be doing it and they go brilliant get it done yeah and that's happened quite a few times yeah. in the last couple of weeks yeah. and it's great because we know that we're on the same page as our client which is always a good place to start but equally it just feels like i think that's where you're getting that feeling of optimism and yeah. energy from is that we are working with people who want to get their houses sold and yeah. that's fantastic to go with that brief understand that we're all pulling in the same direction and i think that's where where it's coming from and you know long may it last oh good yeah absolutely and look if you are looking to sell your home and want to have some straightforward advice and most importantly i think i said this on a video the other day not have your time wasted yeah. because that's a lot of the thing is time in the market isn't, isn't it? it you know yeah. who wants to put the house in the market oh, and be on the market for 12 to 18 months yeah i mean there, there are houses now oh, we've had lots of um, case studies of that haven't we there are houses now on one on the market in Oxshot. i think it's been with two or three different agents it's come down in price by i don't know a mill or like that still on the market still hasn't sold yeah wouldn't you want to move on with your line and get things to i don't know anyway yeah. anyway it'd be nice to have a frank conversation with those people then what is your report process what are you trying to achieve? Because it's not something you have. I don't. Anyway. Think it, I don't think it would go well. <laughs> Ashley, uh, I don't think. You don't think we get the instruction? I'd just like to know what they're thinking. Rather not know sometimes, but there you go. But I definitely think that um, now is the time to get things done get things before done. before uh, anything perhaps changes over the summer. And also, you want to get in, don't you? If you yeah. Can, 
You've got kids. Mm -hmm. When is the perfect time to move into your new home? In the summer. Is it over the summer? Get it settled. Understand your route to school. Get it in July. Have July and August. Finding out the new place, mm -hmm. and then ready for school in September. Yeah. So look, there you have it. A window of opportunity. We think there is. A window of opportunity. There is. We think there's a window of opportunity yeah. for that Yoda. Yeah. Um, but I definitely think that. And you wedding green. <laughs> I don't. I've only seen one Star Wars are, film. Are you joking? I've only seen the first one. Uh, chronologically, the, or the one that was released first. Help me, everyone, Kenobi. I've only seen that one, oh, and I'm. Really? Are you ready for this? Oh no! I've seen it like fifty times, and I never. And you never thought to move on. I didn't think they'd be as good, so I didn't want to watch any of the others. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Oh no, no, I'm lying. I then I watched the new one. Oh. Um, the newest. Or the one that came out in the 90s? The one with the Stormtrooper who went good. Uh, and I thought that was really good. Up. But I haven't watched any other ones. I missed the 90s ones with um, mm. you and McGregor. It's probably the best. Didn't anyone who liked them. Didn't hear. No. Yeah. yeah. But still, you, you... Anyway, I know who Yoda is and I do speak like him then. We've carved off following now as well. So. It, and, all right, fine. Uh, I won't talk about Star Trek either. <laughs> So we think there's a definite market out there. Um, if you are thinking about making a move, now is the time to start talking to your agent. So you're, if you're up in London, get some valuations in, get them uh, pitching to you about what is your four-week sale price. Remember, what is the one thing not to do, Sarah? Don't sign a long agreement. Don't sign a long sole agency agreement. And Sarah, what's the other thing you do the minute you sign the contract? Give them notice. Give them notice at the same time. All right. I was going to say tidy up your house, but you give them notice first and then tidy up your house. Blow their mind. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so question time. We asked on our last podcast oh, yeah. for people to, if they've got any burning questions, we still want funny stories. That's for me, mainly. Uh, but yeah, we have had some questions come in. So Suzanne has asked if we have any tips on relocation. Yeah, all oh, right. Okay. Yeah. We do, lots. Yeah. Um, so firstly, let's just clarify. Uh, so relocating it is moving to a different part of the country. Yeah, or in I the... don't think she wants but... ideas on how to pack a van. I think, no. that, you know... <laughs> So basically, she's you... asking, no, wait, she's asking, yeah. you know, do you put the horse before the car? What's the right way to do things? And, you know, how to find a good area or yeah. that kind of thing. Okay. So those are the sort of things that she so, wants to mention. On. So let's pass relocation as moving to a different part of the country. Not... As everybody else does. Yeah, no. Okay. Not like the conversation I had about a month ago with somebody who said, I'm relocating to Surrey. And I think excitedly said, oh, where from? She said, oh, let's be um, she needs to dream bigger. Oh, just moving. That's not relocating. Don't the A three, but anyway, there you okay. go. Um. So yeah. So um, so so let's say you're relocating. So for example, you are living in Surrey at the moment, yeah. and you're going to move down to, to the coast, to New Forest. We speak to a lot of clients, don't we? New Forest is, yeah. is a, a safe bet, isn't it? Lots yeah. of people move down there. Mm -hmm. Right. How well do you know the area you want to move to? Why do you want to move there? It might be to move near a family. It's a real open question, this, because, yeah, if you've got knowledge of that area already, then it changes... Like to you. <laughs> You'll know where to live, right? yeah. It changes things yeah. dramatically. Mm -hmm. if, let's just say you get a phone call from work to say you're moving to Aberdeen. Mm -hmm. Okay, never been there before. Yeah. Um, then that's a very different kettle of fish. Isn't mm -hmm. it? So m my view is, obviously, go and spend as much time as you can. Yes, I was going to say get to know the area as much as you can. How many times have we had it where someone's bought a house and they sort of say oh it was all we could have like really afforded at the mm -hmm. time and i wish we'd have waited and bought something in a different road yeah different or, or with a bit more or we hadn't realized this about it or whatever H yeah totally mm -hmm. and i think if you don't know an area mm -hmm. you can drive around and have a look i think you've got a feel for I it i think you got yeah. a feel for it but actually you don't so for me one of the one of the key things if you have the ability to go and rent somewhere and stay there yes for six months and get to learn the area and live it and and go in the local pubs, mm -hmm. um, go in the local shops, speak yes. about the local schools, even if you don't need a school, yeah. they're still good for health. But I mean, you could even take a step back from that. I mean, unless you're sort of on, I want to move to Bournemouth for no apparent reason, but you could go and have a long weekend down there. And yeah. that's like, you could also, you know, if you do think you're going to be spending a bit of time in London, work out a train route or whatever. So, and then build up from that. Yeah. And go, right, we do want to move there. Let's rent 
Um, and then you start to live the life as if it was your, your full-time life. And then you get a feel for the area, don't you? Well, I think it, in the best case scenario, one would sell your house here, mm -hmm. take the money, run, go into rented, spend time down there yeah. and then buy something. Absolutely. Especially at the moment with interest rates, you know, it could be the interest that you've got on your house sale money is going to be paying the, uh, the rent. rent. Exactly. Get free yeah. rent, don't you? So yeah, that that's one option. The other thing, and I have to say this, we've been working recently with some absolutely incredible buying agents. Mm -hmm. right? So if you are buying a home of, it can be any value. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be buying a three, four, five million pound house to use a buying agent. Yep. But actually, if you have somebody who is a specialist in that area, who's on your side, might not be the worst investment I you totally could agree. make. Yeah. Um, and if you can get recommendations as well from mm -hmm. people that you know, yeah. that would be it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's the age-old tradition of going in, speaking to estate agents on the phone, mm -hmm. emailing them constantly, checking with them, mm -hmm. making sure that you're at the very front of their list and their radar. So when a new house comes on, they're thinking of you. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, it is still that case where you have to work pretty hard to build relationships with some estate agents out there. Yeah, I'd say so. Yes, yeah. and I mean, if you're, to, if you're moving to a new area as as well, mm -hmm. you almost have to convince them. Yeah, that you're still you've got alive. exactly. I was going to say you've got to make yourself attractive to them, haven't yeah. you? Which is a bit silly, but at the same time, if they understand that you're serious, you're not just these summer tourists who are thinking we want to live here. If you go out hunting on the coast in February, you're serious, aren't yeah. you? So you know, go, so, right. You went to the best time to buy convertible in the winter, isn't it? Exactly. You know, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think that um, I think there's lots of information now that's out there as well on internet oh, yeah. is all also good but i definitely like the idea of going with buying agents yeah. i really do if you're looking at a different area and if if you are tell you now if you're time poor the amount of uh savings you yeah. can get from using your buying agent, with the static and especially if you're not living in that area yeah. to drive an hour and a half two hours to go and look at something that isn't right because the agent yeah. didn't tell you something yeah, yes Where, and they should have good relationships with all the agents already in place and so it could Get you a, a bit of ahead of the game as well. And there. dare I say it? Yeah. Well, you talk about that. Dare I say it? We've been doing an awful lot of one-off viewings and things with buying yeah. agents recently. Stuff that's not really on, on, market. on yeah. the market. Mm -hmm. Might not be on the market, but we know they've got. They'll sell for the right buyer. Yeah. yeah. And, okay. and, and again, if you're moving into a new area, sometimes getting something that isn't on the market is great. Mm -hmm. But but also having the buying agent to give you a sanity check. Yes. If the agent's got the price right, yeah. because there's no point going and doing a one-off viewing on mm -hmm. something that's twenty percent overpriced, yeah. and the agent convincing you to buy it to prevent it going to market. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to purchase, mm -hmm. you want the buying agent perhaps yeah. to check it out for you. So I, I have to say, there's you know, for me, sell, vacate, go into rented. Yes. Try before you buy. Try before. Know your market, know your yeah. area as well as you can, and whether that's finding out for yourself or getting some expert advice from a buying agent, or a bit of both. You know, if you if yeah. you're sort of changing your lifestyle and want more free time, maybe getting the buying agent, even if you do know your area, just to do a bit of the background work for you might be the right way forward. Absolutely. But, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But how exciting to relocate as well, well isn't it? Totally, yeah. 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 Where would you go? Does he have to be in this country? No, I was thinking Antigua. <laughs> I kind of, I flip-flop between Florida and Noosa. Would you move to Florida? I would, if I could lie by a pool and drink gin and juice all day and go mahogany. Hmm. I wouldn't work. Unless I can work at Disney, anyone out there who wants me to work at Disney. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Florida or Noosa. Okay. Okay. You are as well. What about you? Antigua. Antigua. Okay. Yeah, I'll be out there. Fine. Oh. Would you work? No. <laughs> no, I would not either. Good. But there you go. Hope okay. no. <laughs> yeah. Right, so there you go. Overall, a really exciting market that we find ourselves in, and we were all hoping that we were going to come back from the Easter break to exactly this kind of market. That's exactly what we were hoping for. So that's good news. And hopefully we've helped out. If you are looking at relocating, hopefully there's been some advice there. Listen, if you've got any questions with regards to anything to do with the house buying or house selling process, send them in and we can hopefully help you with your queries. And if you're thinking about moving home locally and you want some advice, then get in touch and we can pop down and see you.